smorgasbord is a variety of foods and dishes. Gospel smorgasbord is a variety of the way God's word reaches. God speaks to us, he nourishes us in so, in so many ways. Whether working, being educated, poems or acting, he is in the midst of our days. Whether preaching or teaching or singing or praying or reading his holy word is what it's all about, is what it's all about. Gospel's more. Father God, in the blessed name of Jesus, we just give you praise, O oh God, for this divine opportunity, O oh God, to come together, O oh God, in unity and the strength of your word, O oh God, obtaining understanding that our wisdom will be fruitful, O oh God, in our necessary growth to you, in you, O oh God. And that you will minister to us and through us, O oh God. We just give you all the praise, the glory, and the honor. For you are great, O oh yes, God. Lord. And you are greatly yes, to be Lord. praised. In Jesus' name, you are our strength. Yes, strength Lord. like no other. Yes, and you Lord. reach to us, O oh God. Oh God, we thank you for extending your mercy. Thank you, Lord. Extending your mercy to those that fear you. We are not scared yes, of you, oh God. But we fear you, oh yes, God, Lord. in the nurture, in the admonition of your spirit. Yes, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. amen. Glory to God. Almost amen. I almost went there. I almost <laughs> went there. Praise <laughs> God. Hallelujah. But as I said, we're going to talk about anger. Amen. And when it when uh, evangelist truth uh, approached me about she wanted to do a Bible study, I I had something else. In mind, so by the time she got over to the house and, and she informed me, you know, about anger, the Lord began to deal with me that you that I really could talk about it because He delivered me from anger. And I know a lot of times when we have anger issues. The enemy will mask it and we think it's something else. And when we don't really deal with our anger issues, we have trouble with our forgiveness level. We'll think we done forgave somebody because you know we force ourselves to forget. Number one, God never designed our minds to forget. He said, forgive. And when we forgive, God will, we will forget that, that feeling, praise God, but he can do that. But when we try to force ourselves to forget or, you know, say we've forgotten to to, I guess, you know, because a lot of people say, well, if you remember, you haven't forgiven. And I think that really confuses us in our spirits. We may not speak it. So we forcefully try to make ourselves forget. And what we all, what we really be doing is suppressing that anger. And it comes out in, in different areas. We don't see it as anger. But that's what they do. We, we talk too much. A lot of time, not all the time, it's anger. We be lifted up in pride and arrogance and different things. We don't see it. Others don't see it either. But it's 
not what they think or what we think. It's because we haven't dealt with our anger issues. I remember one time in church, I was having a program and I got in touch with Molly Dandry. She's dead now, but she was the wife of, uh, he owned Channel 22, uh, Bob Dandry, I believe his name was. She had a uh, program she did dealing with homosexuals, uh, set free if you want to be. Anyway, she came to the church. She was the main speaker. So at the uh, close of the program, she was doing a prayer hat. Now, I got up there. And, uh, you know, I had gave the program. There wasn't many people there. And because of the, the pigment of our skin, I felt that if I got up there, other people would get up there. That's it. But still, God had a plan. God had a plan. So I got up there and she began to minister. Then she looked at me and she said, Can I just say what the Lord is telling me? And she went at it. Yeah, you know, yeah. If God tells you by all means. So she began to come against the root of bitterness. And she began to come against anger. And she began to say some things that only I knew what she was talking about. She used wisdom. Because at a young age, we don't talk about it. I don't talk about it much. But I, I was raped, praise God. And from that rape, I was hurt, but the hurt, some kind of way, grabbed hold to bitterness and anger, if I'm saying it right. Uh, bitterness and anger grabbed the hold of the fact that I was hurt. And when the rape occurred, I was hurt, but by the time I got home and things happened, my hurt turned into anger. I became very angry and, and bitter. But it all stemmed from the hurt. I hope you're following me. It stemmed from the hurt. I was hurt and I did not have time to grieve for myself before I became angry. I wasn't angry. And what happened to me? Because I was taught that a young girl needs to be in the house at a certain time at night. But because of the different things and I was trying to be obedient to what I was told to do. And in that, one thing led to another. So I was in a circumstance that I had no business being into. I didn't do it. And I was angry because of, because of what happened to me. That I was put in that position by people that were over me. And that happened to me and I became angry. And every time I tried to do something about it, anger on top of anger and bitterness, and I just became a, a sad mess. So the course of life, if I got saved and, and, and sweetly saved, filled with the Holy Ghost, I still have an issue. We were over the month of Bird's house having prep in. And this evangelist, Evangelist Cohen, she 
rolled it over and passed it to me. And I looked at it. And it was, it said, God said, forgive your mother. And I really thought, you know, I had forgave my mama. And I almost got angry with her, you know. Because at first, in my mind, you know, how dare she? She don't know nothing about my mama, you know. But I thank God for the Holy Ghost. I could hear him saying, relax. And I, when I relaxed, I began to think and I put it on the shelf and as I began to think things really began to make sense because at the time I go on really really good something could happen and anyone know me you know even now if you know not walking and all this other stuff I, I don't let nothing keep me down. No, no. But every now and then something would happen. I would get fall in the middle of the flow and I would cry. I didn't know why I was crying. Mm -hmm. It would last maybe seven to eight seconds, maybe 30 seconds at the most. And I get up in that, but that always happened. It happens so much that when she gave me that note and the Holy Spirit said, relax, I was be, I was able to begin to deal with me. Why I felt certain things. And like I said, because of the hurt that I went through, anger set in. Anger had a grip. But by the time Molly DeAndre came along and she ministered to me, when she laid hands on me, I saw my eyes closed and I went one way, but I could see when I hit the floor, it was like balloon letters and it makes sound crazy to somebody else. I don't even care. I do not care because I know what happened. It's a reality. I had my eyes closed, but I can see out of my chest coming. I remember these two words. First, bitterness. You know, like balloon letters right. coming out my chest. Then I saw her. I saw anger and then hurt. I saw bitterness, anger, and hurt. Mm -hmm. All these things were rooted together. And when that happened, I'm not going to say that. I experienced a, a immediate break out. Mm -hmm. But the breakthrough was there and I was able to break out mm -hmm. of the breakthrough. Wow. And I began to break out of the breakthrough God had given me. I break forth every day to his righteousness. Mm -hmm. Praise God. So anger and bitterness and hurt, they, they're all together. I can't say what anyone else have went through a uh, how it all, but they are all together. You can mm -hmm. trust and believe that they're right all together, right there. And they may use other erroneous spirits, but they are right there together. Mm -hmm. Shame, guilt, mm -hmm. all that stuff, right there together. And with me, it was hurt. Mm -hmm. When someone lied on me, I get hurt. Mm -hmm. And I deal with it differently now. But before, honey, I, I would get so angry. And it was a process. The first part of my process, it was still being my man. You know, I wouldn't say nothing to you. Mm -hmm. But honey, I would go off on you and my mm -hmm. man. I wouldn't do nothing because a long time ago, I 
out. You know, you, you wouldn't yeah. table with me no more in life. <laughs> but, you know, because of Jesus Christ, I would cry and I help you. Lord, help me. Mm -hmm. You know, I want to be a help. Mm -hmm. And not a hindrance. Right. But I first got to recognize the truth about me. Mm -hmm. As we, before we go into some scriptures, I'm reminded of the scripture, I believe, in uh, St. John. It says, Jesus talking, and ye shall know the truth. Right. And the truth shall make you free. Right. Number one, you know, in my studies, and I'm a person like this, if something don't make sense to me, it don't, don't register, but if it clear, I'll have no problem obeying. Mm -hmm. And at that time, when I read that scripture and many others, but I'm sticking with that one, I was like, okay, God, I know the truth, the truth of Jesus Christ. Because the words say he is the truth, the way in life. Mm -hmm. I know that. I, I know that. I know. But God, why I'm not free? I, I don't. Why am I am not experiencing that? Mm -hmm. So to make a long story short, the Lord caused me to know that. The, that first truth had nothing to do with the second truth in that scripture. That first truth, and you shall know the truth. Right. The truth about you. Right. The truth about you. Wow. And when you do know and recognize that truth mm -hmm. and, and do things, you know, to um rectify whatever straighten that out mm -hmm. then the truth which is Jesus Christ that second truth mm -hmm. in that script he's the one that makes you free wow. and we're free in, indeed mm -hmm. you know we're free but we're not free indeed mm -hmm. when we accept Jesus Christ and begin to walk in the manifestations of his word, I believe we are, he has made us free. Mm -hmm. When we are born again, we are free. But it manifests to us when we know the truth about ourselves. Wow. Then, you know, the manifestation, because you wonder, I had someone say they don't see miracles, signs, and wonders. But I'm like, you know, well, I, I can't point my finger at nobody. But I know that since I realize the truth about me and do what I can do according to God's word, I see miracles, signs, and wonders mm -hmm. each and every day God sees. I'm able to look at you. That's a miracle. Right. That's a miracle in itself. Because mm -hmm. I, I can, and not to go all into it, but I remember one time I saw so many people, I had to look at you like this. Him. Yeah. And hope that I might see one. And don't tell me I touch you, I still might mm -hmm. do that. But now I can look at you and I can touch you. Hey, that's a miracle mm -hmm. in itself. Right. Praise God. And I just thank and praise God for it. Praise God. Before we get in the scriptures, is there anything you would like to say? Well, I got a question. Go ahead. Okay, my question is, you know, when things happen to you, you know, in life, even, even things that happen to your children, like... Just say, for instance, you got a lot of people, you know, um, uh, some of these things happen to their children. How do you truly forgive them? You know, I mean, I know we're supposed to, and we think that we forgave them, a person. But how do you know that you truly forgave that person? Because sometimes you can think you forgave them, and next thing you know, sometimes, you know, things may come up, and, you know, it will rise up in you. You know, you know that you haven't truly forgive, forgiven, but how do you know when you truly forgave that person? Okay, now, 
Let me tell you of the incident. And during that time, you know, I was talking about with Molly DeAndre. Mm -hmm. She gave me a book, mm -hmm. the Anger Workbook. I still have it in there. You know, she gave me the workbook, and the book came with it. But in the workbook, I really read one page. And in that page, it was saying, I'm, I'm paraphrasing, mm -hmm. I'm paraphrasing. It was saying that, you know, when you're going through, a, you know, some unforgiveness, be honest with God. He already know. Right. He already know, but you know the truth about yourself and, yeah. and then go to God. Mm -hmm. This is what the book was saying. And so after it did that, after I read that, rather, there was a situation with a, a young girl. And at the time, I would, let, I would let her come over to my house, you know. And I had, I would let her sleep in my chair. Right. In the cover of my air conditioner mm -hmm. where I paid the electric right. bill and mm -hmm. everything. And she was been nice, so she would be oh she lived in St. Pete. Right. So she would, you know, care. Mm -hmm. And uh, to make a long story short, she had lied on me. Mm -hmm. And I told you before, well, I I mm -hmm. I didn't handle right. lying good. Yeah. And it was so bad when the girl be in church, in church, in church I yeah. see that girl. Mm -hmm. And I look at her, and I <laughs> wonder, uh, past her, mm -hmm. I said, I'm going to slap the tail out your mouth. In church, mm -hmm. at a warfare conference, yeah. to be there. Wow. So after all of that, that's mm -hmm. when I was introduced to this book. Mm -hmm. and, and like I said, I'm just paraphrasing. And I was honest with God, so you know. And I, I just told God, you know, God, your, your word said, you know, I am to forgive. Mm -hmm. I want to obey your word. Mm -hmm. I want to do that, God. Mm -hmm. But I'm not feeling it. Mm -hmm. I need you to help me. Mm -hmm. And the book was saying as much as you can mm -hmm. do that. So I did that. Mm -hmm. And I can't tell you when, but uh, someone was taking me to the store to pick up. It was a long way, and they had asked me about the other person. Right. And I recognized that nasty feeling yeah. mm -hmm. I got. Yeah. You know, when I, mm -hmm. I didn't want to slap the taste right. out of my mouth. You know, I was not saying that. What she did mm -hmm. was wrong mm -hmm. and that I liked it, but I didn't have that get back spirit. Right. I didn't I didn't have that mm -hmm. one the strength of her. Right. I didn't have that 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 was the last the mm -hmm. feeling being saved you wanna hurt somebody. Mm -hmm. And I can't tell you when, but I did that and I went to God with it. Right. And it wasn't overnight, it was mm -hmm. a process.
show me the way No more delays, no more mistakes I'm ready today Here at the gate, I'm ready to go Show me the way oh. Been waiting for this moment all my life Jesus called my name, I'm gonna let my light shine Been waiting for this moment all my life Now that I've arrived, it's my goal